Hey guys, it's Dina, and guess what? It's time for another updated dollhouse tour. I know it's been a while, but let's see what new things have changed in my Dina and Bina dollhouse. Be sure to comment down below which room in the dollhouse was your favorite. So as always, let's get started in the bathroom of the dollhouse. So welcome to the doll bathroom. Here it is, so bright and cheery. I absolutely love it. So let's start over here. As you see, we have a little Paris Eiffel Tower hook that holds a hat and a towel for the dolls that's easy for them to grab after their bath. We also have a little hamper here with some doll clothes in it that the dolls just put their stuff in once again after a bath. And then here's a look at the vanity. The lights just went off, it still works. Got this for only $20 on Craigslist a few years ago. Um, as you can see, we have a little working real mirror, a picture frame in Paris from my friend Courtney. Also have a really soft towel. Let me just show you guys this. The towel is so, so soft. We have some soap over there. We have a toothbrush. The sink still makes sounds like so. And then here's the cupboard. They open. Also over here, we have... Um, some medicine, some toothbrush, some toiletry bags for traveling, as well as some nail polish, doll sized of course. And I finally have a toilet, woohoo! Everyone kept saying, Dina, you don't have a toilet, and look at this. It's a bit small, but it definitely does the trick. Over here we have this little dresser thing, and it just holds some knickknacks, and then on top we have some essentials for the dolls, like some perfume, nail polish, and some hair clips. Then over here we have some pictures, Paris theme of course, and we have um, a little lamp, that's for Christmas, but I decided to put it in here, it does also actually work. Then here's a look at the bathtub, it's from our generation, the one that most people have, and it has a little rubber ducky on it right there for the dolls to splash around and have some fun with, some shampoo, and a loofah of course. And then we have a little bath mat with hearts on it, that's so awesome, I love it. And that's pretty much everything inside the doll bathroom. And then over here, I also have the Our Generation um, closet wardrobe that the dolls can change into. So yeah, let's move on to the living room now. All right, welcome to the living room. That is neighboring the bathroom, as you can see over there. So here's a look at the living room. To start off, we have Kanani's chair here in the corner with her pillow and a little sock monkey friend. Um, we also have a TV there that I made. It has Frozen on one side and Toy Story on the other. Um, there's also phones and a little pet fishy over there. Um, also moving down over here, we have a little Connect 3 game, a little iPad, and this is kind of like my coffee table. And then I also have a little Paris um, beanbag that somebody made for me, so it's a great um, extra seating, you could say, in the living room and then here is a fireplace I also made to have a tutorial on that and it's really fun in the winter I hang stockings on there it's it's fun to decorate my rooms per season and holidays of course there's nothing coming up for a while now besides summer and then over here I have this Wii with little um, eraser controllers that's really cool that I got from book fairs so that's fun and then also here I have my Himalayan kitty and she's just in her bed there with her food and holding her little pet mouse. And then if we move over here we have the Journey Girls storage tower that I absolutely love. I also have a review on that. We have a little lamp, Care Bear, some plants in there. Um, also have a crown, a Rubik's Cube and a little picture frame down below. And this also rotates so there's like a mirror on one side, but definitely look for the review if you want to know more on it. And I love the blue accent in behind. It really picks up with the blue in the chair, a little bit of blue in the dog bed, and then blue on some of the decorations in the poster. So I was like, this is perfect. So we have a little love poster there. And then we also have um, a little birdcage pink poster over there and then it's kind of hard to see but this says keep calm and play with dolls from my friend Karen so that is a look at the living room I absolutely love it once again there's a little working light up here that I purchased from the dollar store so there is a look once again aerial view from the living room all right welcome to the kitchen and here we have Elliot she was just hanging out making something delicious in the kitchen so let's move her out of here so we can get a full look at the 
the Dina and Bina kitchen area slash dining room. So as you can see, I have the Art Generation kitchen um, over here. And here's just a close-up look at the kitchen. As you can see here, the sink, the backsplash microwave, fridge. Um, also have a little towel hanging here. We got some cereal, pasta, plants, sponge. Moving on, we have a little Paris postcard. We have the Grace Thomas macaroon poster. Have little chandeliers I purchased from Toys R Us. And this one isn't working because it needs new batteries, unfortunately. Um, also have a little poster there. Then I got my table and chair set from Jill Steals and Deals. It's got a little table runner with flowers. We got the table and chairs. I have a little booster seat here because sometimes I have the little baby dolls and they fit perfect in there. And then this is just like salt, pepper on this Lazy Susan that spins with napkins. It's super cute. I love that. And two chairs. We also have another little mat here that we have all seen in my living room. Then moving on over here, we have a chore chart. And it just kind of says who does what, like wash dishes, do laundry. And that's for each letter of the doll's name, what they start with. And over here, we just have a little garbage from Dollar Tree. And there's actually real garbage in there. So that's really realistic, in my opinion. I haven't opened that for a while. And lots of fun stuff. I really recommend this set. And then if I open it, there's going to be who knows what inside. Oh, look, there's strawberry milk inside the dishwasher. How strange is that? So yeah, there's one look at the kitchen. Really cute, once again, really bright and airy. Not too cluttered. And just a great place to be in, I guess, for the dolls. Onto the bedroom. So here's an overhead view look at the doll's bedroom. Obviously, they all share. Um, this I love this room because it's really realistic and reminiscent of what a childhood bedroom would be like or what mine was sort of like as a kid. So let's get started and take an in-depth look at the doll bedroom. So starting over here, we have a nightstand from the storage tower down in the living room. It came with the set. We have a little bejeweled mirror, a lamp, a little um, alarm clock for the dolls, as well as some sunglasses so the dolls can run out. Their sunglasses are ready and a little camera. Here's just a little trash can and then inside here it's just some dolly knickknacks, passports, toys, harmonica. Always reminds me of Free Willy, harmonicas. <laughs> um, and then we have a little Paris poster, decal sticker, and then here's the beautiful chandelier. This one works. <laughs> and then we have some Paris bed sheets. No surprise, I think you guys see a theme here. And these are reversible, I got them online. And then we have the dolly's little computer here because they were just watching some Dina and Bina videos, as well as some headphones to listen to. And then I love Tsum Tsum, so here's just a look at some of them. They make the perfect toys for dolls. And then we have a little American Girl doll here for my dolls so they can go shopping with them or take them out wherever they please. Then I have this little carpet from Target. And then under the bed, we just have some shoe storage and little boxes. So that's really cool. I love that. And then moving on to this corner, it's just a little shelf here. And it has tons of books. I am a teacher, so I need to have all books. My dolls need to be very smart. And up here I have some things from my travels from Mexico and New York. And then there's just Charlie Round books, a tissue box, and I love you pillow. And we have a troll down there, it seems like. Just some toys and an umbrella and some more bags for the dolls. I mean, this room is lucky because it has some little curtains and drapes. And we have a calendar here. It's definitely not February, and it's not 2014, but I just love that little poster so much. I can't change it. And then we have this little guitar, and here is a doll socks and little knickknacks, gloves, and then more things for my travels. Paris, this is representation of Venice and Italy where I've been, Eiffel Tower, and then just a little kind of Pixar looking map. And then there's just little stickers, flower stickers on the back wall to tie everything together. This is a look at the bedroom. I really love this room and I know a lot of you have loved it in the past. So now onto the final room, the attic and classroom. Alrighty, and here's a look at the doll classroom slash attic. As you can see, Charlie is teaching Regan a lesson in science. So let's go in and take a closer look at all the goodies inside my Dina and Bina classroom. And of course, it's a very special room to me because I am a teacher now. Yay! I've removed the dolls so you can kind of get a better look at the classroom. 
So let's start over here. This is kind of just the play area for centers, I guess you could say, with some toys and mini dolls and a little mat for the dolls to play with. We have a locker with a lunch kit on top. And then once again, we have another calendar over here. And then we also have a little easel for art class for the dolls to enjoy. And then here we have the American Girl um, table or desk and chair. And on it we have a little science book, how perfect, because she's learning about science right now. A little lunch kit, oops, and Molly's school bag right over here. Yeah, so here's a look. This is the science set as well, and this is our generation science set. So really cool, such a great touch to the classroom. Over here we have a little chalkboard. We have a globe, another garbage can. We have some storage here. These are little, you can actually write on chalk with these. They're really cool. There's more toys and little teacher knickknacks. We have some erasers there in front of Jesse and Stitch and some Disney things because this is a Disney classroom. We have little binders over there. Then moving along, we have the map of Canada because I'm Canadian. Woohoo! Canada pride, of course. And then we also have the months of the year because all your dolls got to learn the months of the year. And then, of course, we also have the alphabet up there and a little apple sticker because teachers love apples, right? And then here we have Kit's desk, which is new in here, and I absolutely love this desk, obviously. Then I also up here have some little books. They're all um, from Eric Carl, so like The Hungry Caterpillar, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Some of my favorites, and they are doll size. And my cousins kind of put those there as bookends, and they look great. Some little My Little Ponies. And here's a look at the dolly desk. So we have a I Love New York little bell, perfect for the teachers. The teacher was busy marking. We have some crayons. Ooh, look, a calendar that's in May, the right month. And then we also have um, just some books. And then there's nothing in the drawers, to be honest. And then we just have the teacher's purse hanging there for her lunch money. And then over here, everyone said in my last video, this should be the nurse's office. So that's kind of what it is. I've just kept it like that and has a little tray. And then we have a little whiteboard here for the dolls that says Dina and Bina. Subscribers are the best. It's so true. Like, duh. So here we are. And that's just a look at the classroom. Slash attic. Slash nurse's office. Slash playroom. Whatever you want to call it. And just like that, that concludes another Dina and Bina's updated dollhouse tour and this is from 2016 so there's just one last look at it don't forget to comment down below which room was your favorite i absolutely love hearing your guys's opinions if you have any suggestions or recommendations for the dollhouse be sure to let me know down in the comments thanks guys thanks for watching and talk to you in my next video bye out of the packaging your doll will be ready to jam to all the spring tunes this spring season and even the summer i absolutely